mm. it was very difficult. It was a very difficult year. When my father died, I was like, ah, I was devastated. My father died, ah, you know, because at the time he was diagnosed with AIDS, with this, and he started taking the treatment. I was like, yeah, he will, he will pull, pull through, he will pull through. And then he didn't pull through, so it was like, ah. And then, ah. in fact, at that time, I stopped washing my hair because it seemed as every time I washed my hair, so somebody sad. died. <laughs> <laughs> my, I was washing my camera for I was washing my hair that night, that afternoon. They just ro rushed into the bathroom. What, what, what? Um, Cousin Fran has died. What? Cousin Fran has died? It's not possible. He rushed to her house and true, true, it was possible. Ah, it was true. I say, ah. That was. And then my sister. I just come from the hairdressers the next day, the day before she died. I said, ah. My sister was, my sister's was the biggest, was the biggest Can loss imagine? for me because I, I remember feeling empty. I remember feeling, ah, I cannot even talk. You know, a parent, you expect to lose your parents. Mm. You expect your parents to yeah, die. Because even when my mom died a few years later, I felt sad and everything. I was miserable and, but. It was not, nothing has compared to the loss of my sister to me. Ah, that was just like, ah, I almost, I think I almost ran mad. I, I, I don't even want to talk about it because I'll just start crying yeah. on yeah. TV. But you know, you, you, that's what I say about you, the strength. You know what I mean? The, the, the incredible strength of character. I, I can identify with that, but in an environment like this, it's hard for a woman to ah. be accepted, mm -hmm. you know, as a strong woman. I know? agree with you. They look at me as a mad hatter because I'm just because I want my own uh, views to be and and I believe it's not I'm not even saying my views what is right because I was giving you the example of this girl I don't want to mention names again but she she was on top and they were writing an exam for her in Nigeria and then they found out and she, she said ah what's here wicked gone money ah one wicked you were gone to lost to to Lock your exam here now. You are supposed to be writing your exam. And they said, uh, they did, now everyone said, look at me. This is, uh, they call me YK. This YK is wicked. Look at what she's saying. I'm only saying the right thing. Why is she not Agreed. sitting for her exams? Yeah. Leave the job. Put another person there. The other people to do the job. Go and write your exams. Pass. And come back. And come back. Nobody is going to fight with you. Why will you put somebody to write, to write your exam for you? It's wrong. When I now talk about things like that, I'm now looked at as a mad hatter. As uh, look at she's a, she's a. They have a word for people like me. <laughs> they have a word for people. Yes, <laughs> I would like to hear it because I, I sound familiar. Uh, uh, okay. I, I mean, those kind of Police. men. Right, you were saying that they had a name for a woman like you, and I can't even remember the name. They just, you know, they just put us in one basket. Nobody wants to be your friend. Oh, oh, oh deal. My own is the hell to do. Mm. So, in fact, even in my, in my brother's band, we have we seen them. They will be talking in different different quarters. And when I just come, they just oh, do because I will not accept. If you are doing the wrong thing, I will not. I don't. I cannot accept it. It is not. It is not right. It's not done anywhere else in the world. And if we don't start to change these things, that is why the cancer that is wrong with Nigeria now is so bad that all the radiation, all the chemotherapy cannot cure us. Mm -hmm. So, ha. So, should we just allow Nigeria to die? Let me ask you this question. At what point did you become aware that you were Fela's daughter? Not just Yeni, but Fela's daughter. Um, at a very early age. At a very, in secondary school. You know, because Fela was always in the news. Fela was in the news for wearing pants. Fela was in the news for smoking a bowl. Fela was in the news for going to uh, jail. Fela was in the news for police raiding. So Fela was, not only was he famous, he was notorious. He was, uh, so everybody would point at you. I'm a Fela, I'm a Fela. So at a very early age, maybe from one or from two, I um, knew that I was Fela's daughter. And I knew that Fela, because I was Fela's daughter, Different. There were di there were there were different reactions to me. There were people that wanted to know me, be my friend because I was I was Fela's daughter. There were people that didn't want to know me because I was Fela's daughter. So from a very early age. Did you like at that stage in your life? Did you like Fela? Ah, I always loved him. Like. 
I liked him and I loved him. I, I wouldn't even put like that because Fela was he was nice to me as a daughter. He was he was I was very close to him. Growing up I was very close to him. Sometimes I could tell him things that I couldn't tell my mom. You know, so and we called him Fela. We didn't call him daddy. He never accepted us. So it didn't bother you that, you know, you had a father who was in the news for wearing pants, smoking? Because that's why I asked that question. Because some children will now try and distance themselves yeah, away from it because by, it, was, by, it would be embarrassing. Um, let me think. Because I remember, um, I mean, I was, let me, if I think back now. I mean, I used to look at the girls in their makeup in wonderment. They, ah! But I, it didn't affect me because I didn't have to wear makeup like that. But when it affected me directly was um, when my father was making this film, Black President, yeah. and the role they gave me was um, the role of a bar lady who had to wear makeup like those women. Like, they put makeup on me, and in those days, I, I didn't even wear eye pencil, not to cough. Okay. I shall do one. Yeah. And I, so <laughs> when they now came, I said, ah, I should uh, <laughs> wear this makeup. And I should say, oh, go, 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 and cook. And I would come and say, I want to buy, drink a guru and cook. And my partner would say, oh, go, 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 and cook. Ah, I remember saying, I wish this film would never come out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a time that it affected me directly. So most times, it didn't really affect me directly. It was, it affected, it was my father. I didn't like when he had to go to jail. Because I remember the first time I had to go and see him at Alagum. And I said, crying. And I was like, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Don't cry. But we were leaving the prison and we were leaving him behind. behind. So that, that, that affected me. So things like that affected me. I didn't always have to be in the in forefront, the I, apart from being a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, my brother, he had to be in, like I remember when Fela was going to give Obasanjo the coffin. Ah. <laughs> Fela had not told the three of us this, I'm going to give Obasanjo the coffin tomorrow. All of you be here. Femi was sleeping there, so Femi had no issue. He was sleeping okay. there with him. So La and I were going home. Daddy, I wasted time. Hey, you say, Babel, I say, I wasted time. So by the time we got there, we got to the house about three or four. The lad already left. Ah, I just said, thank God. <laughs> and I really had a good reason because they beat, when they got to the door barracks, they beat nonsense and stupid in their body, all of them. The only person they didn't beat was Fela because when Fela, Fela was the first to come out of the van, Fela was the one driving. So when they, Kept trying to beat him, but now we just be holding the police the soldier like this. So you can't beat the soldier with him. Now we beat the soldier. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. So that's how the lie escaped. You see the rest? They were coming out one by one from the <laughs> from the civilians. The soldiers they formed the line, two lines for them. So as they were coming, they beat 